I use CDs three times a week, about 18 hours a week. I have no idea how they work. In the days before CDs, a needle vibrated in the grooves of an LP record like this to produce music. But along with that music came noise from scratches and dust. Today, the LP and its grooves are replaced by the CD and its mirrored surface. And the needle is replaced by this miniature laser. The laser reflects off the mirrored surface of the CD. The pits in a CD, which you see here magnified thousands of times, contain music which is digitally encoded in such a way that a computer can understand. And it's the sequence variations in these pits that determine whether you're listening to Sinatra, Sinatra. 